If we're talking underrated sneakers of the year, the Air Jordan 1 Palomino absolutely needs to be mentioned. I mean, it's a winning formula. You have the classic bread color blocking with super wearable shades of black and brown. Mocha Air Jordan 1s are going for hundreds of dollars. And it's my most watched video, by the way. And these are sitting just under $200, but not for long. For the lucky and smart ones who caught, here are 10 ways to style a modern classic. All right, so Alpha One features one of my favorite combos at the moment, and that is zip ups and graphic tees. This zip up hoodie is honestly one of my favorite clothing items that I've picked up recently. It's from a brand called Muji Muji, which is a bit of a weird name, but it is one of the most comfortable and soft fleece inner linings that I've ever put on. Not too hot either. And it has some great distressing and fading throughout, which is one of my personal favorite features of a good hoodie. And the thing with zip up hoodies is it allows you to layer a lot more, especially in the transitioning weather. And you can throw it on top of a graphic tee. Graphic tees are great. They're a staple in my world wardrobe and they allow you to sort of store off your personality a little bit more. For example, this is a vintage Wayne Gretzky tee. I live in Toronto and this is like a great commemorative graphic tee of the Wayne Gretzky's restaurant. So there's great fading throughout. The fit is nice and it pairs really well with these distressed jeans. Very subtle distressing. I didn't want to overdo it with the two blown out knees or anything like that. Uh, these ones are from Wrangler. I can't remember the exact name of them, but I'll be sure to link some alternatives in the description box below. They are a bit long, but I didn't want to uh, hem them because they have these great um, sort of distressed details at the bottom hem. And uh, overall, it's a nice mid wash which pairs super well with the kicks. I absolutely love wearing these. And if you wanted to accessorize this outfit, you can get yourself a bag. This one is a side bag from the brand Cost. It has a nice quilted detail to it. The hat is from Ame Leon Dor, a nice mesh low profile fitted cap. And the watch actually that I'm wearing is the 6900 from G-Shock. One of my all time favorite watches. It was the first watch I ever bought in high school. And of course, all of my favorite rappers growing up had the iced out versions of these from Pharrell to Kid Cudi. So either way, Alpha One is easily one of my favorites. Another one of my favorite hoodie styles to wear this year is this one from Stussy. It has cut off sleeves, which is a detail that I love because it allows you to actually layer your hoodie a little bit better. And that's what I've done with this long sleeve thermal. Um, because of the waffle print pattern on it, it adds a little bit more texture to the outfit. And because I went with this super wearable cream color, it sort of matches the vibe of the outfit really well. It's a nice cream color, earth tones, and which is why I paired it with these olive Carpenter pants from Abercrombie. I have been buying a lot of pants from there recently um, because they have these nice, relaxed, straight fits in a wide variety of wearable colors, some with Carpenter pant details, double knee details, prints, or you can go with the classic 90 straight jeans, which is another option that they have there. A few other items that I wore with this outfit to add some detail is this camo dad cap that I actually got from Amazon. I've been seeing a lot of people wearing camo hats recently, and uh, I hadn't ended up finding this super affordable one off of Amazon, so I'll be sure to leave a link in the description if this is something that you wanna get into as well. But overall, closing comments with this hoodie is that this is a style that you can literally make at home if you don't wanna spend the Stussy money. Just get an old fitting hoodie, could be your dad's old hoodie or something, and just cut off the sleeves and give it a go. Adds a nice little bit of layering details, um, which is something that I'm a big fan of. Another way that you can wear that long sleeve base layer is just to throw a baggy t-shirt over top. This is a wash black t-shirt that I have. It is on the baggier side, which fits perfectly over this additional layer. And that's what I recommend you guys do if you have a baggy t-shirt, you could throw it over a hoodie or throw it over a long sleeve like you see here. This is the same thermal. And to add some detail to the outfit, I went with a pair of Real Treat camo pants. These are from the brand Mossy Oaks um, that you can get at a lot of different stores throughout the United States. Uh, I live in Canada, so I had to grab these from Grailed. They were very affordable, so I don't feel bad shopping from the secondary market. But either way, these are an absolute staple. They have a nice baggy fit to them. And uh, you know, buying stuff like this secondhand is something that I really enjoy doing, especially when it comes to pants. On feet, of course, we've got the Air Jordan ones. And to match those brown details, I went with a black hat from St. Woods. And I could also throw on these shades from Oakley. These ones have a little bit more of like a Y2K aesthetic, but I feel like it goes pretty well with the rest of the outfit since like layering t-shirts over a long sleeve is something um, of the times as well. So overall, this is just another way that you can make use of styling and layering long sleeves in the fall time. Vests have always been a staple in my fall wardrobe because of how versatile they are. Whether you wear them just simply over top of a t-shirt, over a hoodie, or over a jacket, they give you the ability to sort of keep 
keep warm, but without that like smoldering heat. And this one from Stussy is easily one of my favorites because it's a little bit different, right? It's a cream color. It's not a traditional black, which I, hey, I absolutely love. But this one has some great details. I love the V-neck cut to it, which allows you to wear it with hoodies so, so well. It doesn't bunch up around the neck and the quilted just adds a nice little bit of detail to it. And overall, when you pair these cream colors with some olive cargos, you really can't miss. If you've been watching the channel for a while now, these would look very familiar. These are from Good Threads on Amazon, believe it or not. They have like a sort of like a slim to straight fit with a lot of stretch to them, a little bit of a wash detail to them. And if I can recommend you a solid pair of everyday wearable cargo pants, these would definitely be the ones. Now, I wanted to add some details to the fit, um, which is why I ended up going with a beanie. I love beanies. I've been going like crazy buying a ton of them. This one is from a, a brand called OMA, Old Man Allen, that you can find on Instagram. And uh, they just make some really great beanies that I absolutely love. And for watches, I went with the Seiko 5 GMT, easily one of my favorite timepieces that I have. It's got an open case back and just a bunch of other cool details. So overall, this is one of my favorite transitional outfits from fall to winter because you have some good warm outerwear, but also you could take it off and not be super hot. Now, let's say you're watching this in the spring and summer months, or you live in a hot climate. I see you floating in Texas. This is a typical outfit that I would wear with these. However, there is one detail I want to talk to you guys about. The shorts play a big factor in this outfit, not just because of the pattern, but because of the length. I need to go with above the knee shorts on this outfit if I want to actually make myself appear taller. If I were to wear a baggy pair of denim shorts, for example, and say the socks were above the calf, or say the socks are at the calf, it will actually show less of my leg and make me appear shorter. However, I went with above the knee shorts. These ones are from Kinetic Kings. They have a nice paisley pattern that matches with the earth tones of the outfit. And uh, I just can't speak more highly of them, so I'll be sure to link them below. And because they are busy pattern, I wanted to keep the rest of the outfit pretty muted, which is why I went with this charcoal gray JFK tee from Kith. I have been wearing this a ton and it is easily one of my most worn t-shirts. Um, I think they stopped selling these, so I will link some um, affordable alternatives in the description below. And up top, we've got the More Apparel Snapback. This is my clothing brand. This hat is still in stock and you're able to grab it, but supplies are moving quick and we are releasing two new colors of them, which I absolutely love. So be sure to cop them using the link in the description while supplies last. For accessories, I have the Tissot PRX, one of my favorite watches to wear at the moment. And I have a ring from Majuri. Overall, it is super clean and easy outfit. And uh, we are approaching fall right now, but I can't wait to wear this next summer. We all know hoodies and crew neck sweaters, but quarter zips are another one of those super underrated items that people don't talk about that much. This one is from Stussy. It's part of their basics catalog. So I'll leave a link in the description. I'm pretty sure there's like a number of different places that you can get these and they come in different colors. Usually they keep these stocked on the site. Um, I wanted to throw on this olive quilted vest over top. Believe it or not, I actually got this from Zara. I don't do a ton of shopping at Zara, but this is something that people ask me about all the time because it's so versatile. Whether you do throw it over top of a hoodie or a crew neck or a basic t-shirt, this is just one of those quick soft items that you can throw on it's not going to make you super super hot because it's very lightweight and the quilted pattern just adds a nice little bit of detail to the fit uh, which i always appreciate and for the jeans i'm rocking with a pair of vintage levi's 501s when you buy a pair of vintage levi's they will arrive to you ready worn in and with all the natural distressing details that we all love and that's exactly what i got with these these are a nice sort of mid-wash, kind of a lighter hue to it as well. Um, and ultimately, I absolutely love them. So whenever I style grays or olives, I typically go with these just because they go with everything. And to match the sort of darker hues on the shoes, I went with uh, this Essentials fitted cap. Wool material, great texture to it. And it's just one of those things that uh, it's a black hat, never goes out of style. So it's something that I always keep in the hat rotation. Now, one of my favorite styles of dress in the fall time is work where I love how thick and durable the clothing is and it's just something very masculine about it that I always love. And one of my favorite sort of workwear pieces has to be the jacket. And this one from Abercrombie is definitely one of my favorites. It has a very traditional cut. It's uh, got a little bit of a slight crop to it, which I appreciate, as well as a bunch of wearable earth tone colors. 
And another one of my favorite details has to be the corduroy collar. Just adds a nice little bit of detail to the jacket. Something that we all appreciate. Breast pockets, you know, the whole bit. And to sort of match that vibe, I went with a pair of selvage jeans. There's something about selvage jeans, the fact that the fabric is a lot thicker, it's a lot rougher, if that makes sense. And uh, ultimately that darker wash is just lends itself to the fall time. It's thicker, it's heavier. There's something about selvage in the fall that I absolutely love. These are from Naked and Famous. Very good entry level um, salvage pair of jeans. And I'll leave some affordable alternatives as well in the description box below for you guys to check out. And uh, overall, this is just a really clean fit. The t-shirt underneath has a slight crop to it as well. It is the Uniqlo U Airism oversized t-shirt. As you guys know, those do fit a little bit uh, short. So ultimately, the proportions of the fit are really good. So if you guys are looking for your next favorite fall jacket, you definitely gotta check this one out. Now, of course, one of the pillars of workwear has to be Carhartt. And this Carhartt work in progress, Salinac, shirt is one of those clothing items similar to that olive vest that I get asked about all the time and for good reason. It looks great. It's very flattering when you wear it as well and it's got nice wash details. The quality is on point. It is a little bit on the pricier side but trust me it's well worth it so I'll be sure to link it in the description and overall this is just a good example of an outfit on how to wear denim on denim because hey this is a denim shirt. These are denim jeans so when you mix different tones of denim you can easily pull it off with something that's black with something like a, a standard true blue pair of jeans. Speaking of which, these are from the Richie Lee collection, another one of these most asked about uh, pair of jeans as well. Always feels good to support a creator. These ones I think are long gone, uh, but he does have other denim I think in the store, so I'll be sure to link these below. And for accessories, I am wearing a fisherman beanie. These are by far my favorite types of beanies to wear because I have a small head. And for the watch, I am wearing the Seiko tank, which is uh, a resembles the Cartier tank, just to match some of those black and gold accents that you see throughout. So lately on TikTok and Instagram, I've been posting my favorite fall fashion finds and must-haves, and this jacket in particular completely blew up, especially on TikTok. It has almost a million views. This is the Uniqlo short blouse in. What I love so much about this is that, first of all, is the color. It's a nice forest green color, but also its ability to be dressed up. I think that's because it's a traditional hunting, English hunting style jacket with the corduroy collar, and overall just the tailor everything about it just fits that modern aesthetic and uh, to layer with it I put on a cardigan underneath just to add a little bit more detail to the fit and ultimately I could take this jacket off and just go with the cardigan in the pants and for you guys watching this if you live in an office I mean I used to work in a marketing office so we would be actually be allowed to wear Jordans and the way that I could sort of work around it is by having a bit more of a dressier fit and to help accentuate that look I went with a pair of pleated trousers right here these are a nice black color which obviously can can be worn in a number of different ways but when you combine all the elements you have the light jacket you've got the cardigan you've got the trousers just makes for a really clean aesthetic and I know you guys have seen a bunch of streetwear outfits but ultimately I don't dress streetwear all the time so it's nice to have something that's a little bit more elevated um, and if you want to achieve that aesthetic you should definitely grab the unique little short blouse in which I will link in the description another jacket style I've been obsessed with recently are bomber jackets this one is from Uniqlo it is the MA1 blouse in and it's good for many reasons Number one is that as a ton of details that mimic an original bomber jacket, like the flat pockets and side zipper pockets. It's also water repellent, which can help repel against the elements. And uh, I posted this recently on my Fall Essentials video and you guys were loving it. So I definitely am gonna be styling it more and more. To separate the outfit out a little bit of pop of color, I went with a, another vintage graphic tee underneath. This one I got off of Etsy. It's a Harley Davidson one, uh, believe it or not from New Zealand. So I'm um, really glad to have that one. And uh, for a little bit more, more detail and texture for the pants. I went with these cargo pants from Abercrombie. There are a ton of pockets on this one along the thighs, along the calf. So highly recommend these. They have a nice loose fit as well. And for sizing, it does fit a little bit big. So if you're in between sizes, definitely go down. Overall, easily one of my favorite go-to outfits, just super easy to wear. Now, if you wanna learn about how to style the Air Jordan 1 Low, particularly the new bread toe colorway that just came out, click this video right here. Or if you wanna learn about some of the best fall fashion trends, check this video right here. So why don't we click on one of those and I'll meet you guys there.